question on a question. Who didn't uh, correct their clock and who got here? <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday weekend. She just turned 21. Happy 21. supposed to be like so good at uh, technology that you should put something else about correcting cons? Come on now. Good uh, morning, y'all. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done double checking. <laughs> uh, thank y'all for bringing us out here. Uh, we're very excited. This obviously been very, uh, well, I haven't had a job, as is made clear by my <laughs> for uh, <laughs> <laughs> job, apologies. Well, how do you live with this? No, this is it's awful. I'm not that sure it's <laughs> really need to start getting so I get my hair cut. Uh, uh, I know. Um, but is that yes? That, what did you say? She's like, is that what's stopping you? <laughs> I'm gonna give you 20 bucks. Be like, oh, buy some scissors. <laughs> my wife is really here. My wife did it and she was like, I love what you with this. <laughs> I'm like, shut your mouth. I have this during. <laughs> I have this. <laughs> I have this conversation with Jen. Uh, during COVID, I didn't shave at all. And I. After I finally trimmed down to get ready for the, the, the show that he and I worked on together, um, I was looking back through pictures and I just saw a picture of me with this massive, snowy, nasty beard. And I'm with Jen. Why is it snowy and nasty? You can still shower when you have a shower. You can't shave. No, I, I think I'm true. Listen, there was, a, there was a, a beard on this face for a particular role that became its own. I think it had your zip code. Maybe that's your cell phone for it. It's your yeah, yeah. Many phone calls. You can put it in there. I just stuck it in there. Um, it had, I had more products for the stupid beard than I could for any other part of my body, which is much. But, it, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a thing. Fair enough. All right, I'll, I'll let you shower. Yeah, beard wash. A separate beard shower. But I, I was looking pictures like two months later when I was back to presentable. I looked around and I was like, you love me. She <laughs> yeah. And I was like, no, look at this picture. You stay with me. You love me. <laughs> I'm going to post it today. I, it looks like a mountain man that's like stolen some love. <laughs> it's a girl. Uh, and he like, said, hey, your phone's today. <laughs> Anyways, before we just talk about beers. Uh, what's going on, y'all? I want you to choose first question, so let's see him. That was quick. Let's do it. Yeah. Thank you. That was quick. She also has a massive lens on her camera. You're welcome. Her was just like, ba -dum. So this... Hey, quiet back there. <laughs> so... We think we're famous. I don't want to strike. <laughs> So Kim and Bree answered a question at the podcast, and I want to turn it back around to you. It was basically how has the men, the actors in this group of people, affected them in a male society? I want to put it back on you. How has Kim working? Said, no, Kim and Bree. During the podcast. During the podcast on Friday. Kim, Kim, Kim and Bree. So how has been working with the women in this fandom, or not fandom, but in this group of actors? affected you in a male-dominated society? There's a question. Um, I, I listened to it. Is, it. is it one of the recent? It was what they filmed on Friday. Amazing. Wait, what did they say about it? <laughs> You'll have to listen to the <laughs> How working with y'all yeah. has yeah. affected, changed how they work in a male-dominated world? Yeah. How did, how did it? How did they say it? it, it <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Before everyone has one another, what did they say? It was all good. It was all good. It was all good. It was, all good. <laughs> it was before y'all let this happen. I think one of the things that uh, I'm really proud of that the show we worked on did, in my opinion, very well, is um, 
kind of point out how strong you are and you can be, no matter what you look like, whether you're male or female, black or white, gay or straight, blonde or brunette, etc., etc., etc. So having done the show from age 22 to age 38, it was awesome. Not just for the characters that are written, but to meet people like Kim Rhodes, Rainer Rockmaster, Felicia Day, Genevieve. So it was a uh, meal, uh, but to see people, because it, it's being on a set, male or female, or uh, however you like, want to identify, um, it's difficult. You know, it's, it's not like, oh, we all go play pretend and it's lollipops and candy canes. It's shitty hours here, and I told this story the other day, for those who don't know, um, an episode called Bugs of the TV show. I say bugs, right? Because I didn't write it. Yeah, I'm gonna say bugs. Because <laughs> the first time. I'm gonna be a friend of on the <laughs> First time that it rained torrentially in Vancouver and we we're filming outside. I'm wearing like pumas that are basically made of saran wrap. I thought you lost that shit. <laughs> Uh, and so, Kim Mayers was directing, and he gave us umbrellas. Apparently, the next day, the dailies go to Kirby, and he goes, Sam and Dean Winchester, hunt what goes wrong with the night. They don't use umbrellas. So for the rest of 14 years, no matter rain or shine, sun or snow, we were just sitting there and going like, God. and by the way, we got used to it, but when someone came in for an episode or two or more, they were like, why, why don't we have umbrellas? It's like, I need to call Eric. Uh, it's, it's strange. Uh, but it, it's been a wonderful, I, I'll, I'll, I'll speak for me, but I'll speak for both of us. Neither he nor I raised the way we were raised with, with strong women in our family, mothers, sisters. We never doubted the strength of women, y'all, and, and furthermore, having seen our wives uh, go through childbirth, it becomes very clear we are the weaker sex. <laughs> very clear. Um, I was the one throwing up and crying. I was like, she went out and gave birth. <laughs> um, but it was an honor to work with, uh, with amazing people. Yeah, thank you for your question. Um, he's right. I, I, I will say, just touching on that real quick, that uh, you know, the, the show, the set that, that we were uh, that we were on for so many years, um, it didn't matter who was walking through the door, um, you know, what, what, where they were from, what they looked like, what, you know, how they identified, any of that stuff, because they were they were already a part of the team, and it was. It was then that it was uh, we then we get to play together. We get to we get to create together. And there were just there's just some people that rose above others, and those are largely the people that you see on the stage this weekend. Um, and you know, guys and girls, and and the ones that that are still sticking around, still hanging out, talking about this. Uh, do for a reason. It doesn't. It, it, it really didn't matter whether whether it was a, a male dominated show or even a male dominated society. Um, I think it's a, it might be a male dominated society because you allow us to think that we're still in charge. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we, some of us know that we're clearly not. Um, that being said, it, it was um, it, it wasn't something that we uh, that we necessarily noticed. Um, we didn't see that. We just saw a team coming on to the set, and we got to play. And some were just really, really fun to play with, and we're still doing it today. So. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, in the flat shirt, on here. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Hi. Hi. He got it wrong, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very high answer, you'll see. A very high answer? You'll yeah. see, you'll see. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> <All right. laughs> He's shorter than both of us. <laughs> no, it was only the one episode. Okay. Um. 
<laughs> sure, How many seagulls? What's that? How many seagulls would you have to find in your house before you started getting suspicious that someone was putting them? <laughs> One. <laughs> I live in Emily, Texas. Uh, I haven't seen a seagull in 38 years. Are you putting seagulls in my house? <laughs> What's going on here? Right. I would say 14. <laughs>
we would go and do our um, voiceover recordings while we were filming. So, you know, set, and then we'd take a break, and he and I would hop in there, and we would do, uh, you know, voiceover work for an episode that we had previously filmed. And I asked him, I was like, hey, he is also a, an avid collector of, like, vintage microphones. Um, and I said, hey, uh, I got a buddy coming up here, we're, we're looking to um, lay down some, some vocal tracks for a song. Um, could we could we do that in, in the truck? He's like, oh, yes. He's like, I'm going to go home this weekend, I'm going to get a couple of my mics, and like, no, I'm like, five, seven, two, or whatever, some fancy, like, vintage vocal recording mic, and he brought it in, he set it up, and we actually did it while we were, while I was filming. So, yeah. Do you remember who found me behind the scenes in some truck? You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's some shots from the, the, the music video where, yeah, Jared's actually got the, got the camera, he's like, you know, doing this, getting Steve and I. And, sound, and it's not a soundtrack that's basically back to you all. With all the, yeah, like not much bigger than like this drum set. <laughs> not, like, you can't fit a whole lot of things in there. And also, if you go like this, it picks it up. It picks up everything. Yeah, you so I'm trying to do cool shit, but <laughs> my my keys are jangling in my pocket. I gotta go again. Like sorry, like wrong keys. And Jared is, is, is effectively a moose in a china shop. <laughs> I would not get hired as a ninja. <laughs> 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 Uh, that was great. Yeah, yeah, thank you for your question, and thank you for the Canadian Club. Uh, it was the <laughs> <laughs> I hope there's someone that I can try. All you. Uh, let's go over down here. Oh, bro. That's you. Only one with your hand up down there. That's <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were hunting them. Procrastinating? Right. <laughs> Have you had any supernatural experiences yourself? Ooh. I was just, oh, I don't know what I told you this. Yeah. Uh, Jen and I just went to Edinburgh a couple weeks back. We get to this hotel that's like a refashioned castle as goes in the UK. And our room is haunted. And Jen, is, we're unpacking, we're jet lagged. Yeah. And Jen goes, hey, I think our room is haunted. And I just go, I know. <laughs> we go out to dinner or something, come back, and our curtains are opening and closing, our lights are turning on and off, our uh, uh, bathroom uh, light starts leaking water, even though we're on like, the first floor of seven or something. So there's no reason. Yeah. And so legit, legit, uh, we're in bed, and I, I just lay down. And I just say out loud, I'm like, hey, we see you, we hear you, we know you're here. Can we talk tomorrow? <laughs> it all stops. <laughs> Until the next day. Like, they just wanted a little attention. They want attention? Yeah, so I was just like, hey, I like channeled my inner as devs. Uh, it was like, hey, we got to check. Uh, we're, we're paying attention, but we're jet lag. Like, we're all about listening, hearing you, but can we do this tomorrow? And calm. Curtain stopped moving, the rain like stops up. It was ridiculous. It was awesome. You were talking about God. <laughs> I think he has better things to do. Chuck, leave us alone, yeah. have some nights. We can address this tomorrow. Um, our house in Austin uh, is a, it's, it's built in 1910, um, and uh, we, we've been doing some um, refurbishing, remodeling and stuff with it, and um, some of the workers uh, quit on the job, uh, and they didn't say why, and the uh, project manager uh, said that they, you know, they, they had to, to go through another, another job or something like that. We then found out that they had seen some things in the th on the third floor. Uh, the, the house used to be, I think in the 50s, it used to be a multi-unit uh, place. Multi-unit torture chamber. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently there was a, 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 like an apartment on the third floor of the attic. Um, it had been done like that. So they had reportedly seen something or someone up there. And so, Danielle, and of course she knows somebody that deals with this, 
this has this woman come over who was like a medium, clairvoyant, you know, so like it's straight up older guys like this house is clean. Like she found this woman who came over and they went up to the third floor. I was out of town at this time. I was like, come on, go ahead, have fun. Knock yourself out. And they went up there and she was like, oh yeah, this is where he hurt her. She's like, nobody died, but this was definitely the energy it here is 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 bad. So there was the drywall was off, so you could see like the uh, you know the, the, the wall of studs and everything. It was down to studs. And uh, don't Wait. say, don't say, no, stop, stop. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I was trying to like avoid the word, and I'm like, I gotta say that's what it is, and then I knew the dumbbell here was gonna jump on it. And I'm like, okay, again. <laughs> How often do you take the stud finder and go <laughs> Every time, every time. <laughs> Every time. 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 Every this like concoction, this mixture of like uh, but like a five pound bag of rice and then some other things and trinkets and stuff and she starts doing some incantations and, and uh, around then they go out to the to the porch and they put all of the mixture the rice on the porch and he was like okay now what she's like well uh, they'll use this uh, this mixture to leave the house effectively the, the spirits or whatever and so she's like, okay, thinking, well, now I'm going to have to come back tomorrow and clean all this up. <laughs> um, she gets a call from our project manager because we weren't there at the time. And he's like, uh, and she's like, or he, he, he was asking her a question. She's like, hey, sorry about all the, the rice and stuff on the front porch. Um, you can just clean that up. He's like, what rice? And she's like, what? And we were just down, she was just down the street, so she whipped over there, and it was all gone. And she was like, you didn't have anybody clean this up. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. It, it, was, it was all gone. Yeah, it was, it was actually more to the sequel. So like, good callback. Good callback. It's good comedy right there. Um, so, I don't know. We're probably still dealing with I have another story, too, but we're another time. Thank you. I'm going to go back to this side right here. Where's the birthday girl? All right. Hi. I'm going to hi.
flesh sped off, but I think there was like a, a adding another story arc uh, to focus on those two. Um, and uh, I don't know, it, it, you know, there's a lot of a lot of ideas that get tossed around. Yeah, and I think most of the credit of um, our writing staff, uh, the writers, uh, to your question earlier, uh, and to many questions, part of wonderful storytelling is that everybody in here gets to imagine what happened when the cameras weren't rolling, or what happened when Bobby and Lucas were in Omaha, or whatever. So uh, I know I did, and my, uh, the story in my head that what went through is different than all y'all's, but I bet they're all great. And so I think that's one of the magic parts of this 15 year journey he and I got to go through. Because we look at the, we all got to imagine, I wonder what it was like when uh, we didn't see them for a while. So, um, but again, if uh, Jim and Steven decide to share us together, I'll, I'll be tuning in. Thank you. Uh, I see you right here. Yeah. Yeah, we met yesterday. Awesome. So this may have to do with a role that Jensen just had a cameo. Mm -hmm. But what would you can answer? Um, what would be your favorite Skittle flavor? <laughs> Thank you guys. Right. 